Good morning, friends. It is like 7.30 on a December 8th, Friday, December 8th. Um, I'm in my laundry room right now trying to get a load of laundry folded before I bring the boys to school. So that's why the lighting is so bad in here. Me and the boys woke up early to bring Floyd hunting. We dropped him off at his like hunting spot this morning because our other vehicle is in the shop currently. So Floyd took off of work today um, and it's like the last weekend of hunting so he took off so he can go hunting and the car's in the shop so we dropped him off this morning and yeah now I'm just trying to get a load of laundry folded before we go so I can feel a little productive because lots to do today um, last year I started doing like a friend Christmas party with my like three friends I have <laughs> but it was a lot of fun so I decided to do it again this year and that's tonight so I have to get stuff ready for that we made it like themed last year so like last year the theme was potatoes and everybody brought a different kind of potato dish um, this year it is dip so everyone's bringing a different kind of dip recipe so later we're gonna make a couple dips together um, got to put together some games for it, and um, we have a few things going on today. Um, we adopted a few seniors this year, so after school I'm going to bring the boys to drop off those gifts today. I'm like out of breath already. <laughs> oh, I had a doctor's appointment yesterday, so I will give you guys a 24-week update here shortly as well. Got to do something with myself. I don't... <laughs> you see my hair? <laughs> I don't know the last time I washed it, so it needs to be washed today. <laughs> um yeah good morning welcome to today's video just getting all the things done lots of different christmas things my favorite kind of things we woke up at 5 a.m to our christmas tree knocked over by my lovely dogs so i have to fix all these ornaments at some point as well um my husky likes to get behind the tree and lay behind it and yeah we heard the smash this morning we we're like oh my gosh of course of course that would happen it's actually the second time it's happened now i don't know why she goes back there i think it might be cooler because it's like against the um wall in the window and she like likes the cooler spaces pain in my butt y'all quick and easy uh dunkin donuts for the win for breakfast this morning tristan already ate his this is this is how he eats like a mouse or something everything i'm not even joking can't hardly eat <laughs> Bray Bray is off to school. I love you, baby boy. I, I hope you have a great day. car wash thing once we got the new car we're here like every day not even joking like every day also got a second coffee today i actually have hardly been drinking coffee but like today there's a lot to do the day started early it won't end till late second coffee going down okay oh yeah <laughs> what oh yeah are you excited to go in the store <laughs> you're so silly oh. Last stop for a little bit. We're at Walgreens to pick up our family photos and family cards and all of that fun stuff. So I'm excited to share that with you guys. Um, I oh, love the way they came out. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, I showered this morning, but I've got to get myself ready. So like, let's just ignore what's going on here, but we're home. Um, I want to give you guys the baby update really quick. So if you watched my last baby update at 20 weeks, I was told I have one artery umbilical cord, um, which basically can affect the baby's growth, can affect, you know, certain areas in the baby, like the heart, the kidney, I think it was, lungs, things like that, because there's only one artery, so they're only getting um, not as much nutrients and whatnot, but so with that, um, basically they just monitor it and I go for ultrasounds every four weeks um, and then they'll get, I'll like do more towards the end, but right now it's every four weeks. So yesterday was my 24 week ultrasound. Um, at the 20 week ultrasound they also couldn't see the heart, so at 24 weeks, um, they were mainly looking for the heart. They also said they couldn't see the hands, which I don't understand because my ultrasound at 20 weeks, she literally gave me pictures of the hands, so I don't know if she just forgot to like mark it or something, um, but they rechecked the hands to be sure. Um, and there was one other thing they checked, but the heart was like the main, you know, thing that I was worried about. Um, and everything is great. The baby has a four vessel heart that is pumping wonderfully. Everything, it looks good, everything's there. Um, as of now, at 24 weeks, the baby is growing as he or she is supposed to be growing. I'm measuring 25 weeks, um, which I turned 25 weeks on Saturday tomorrow. So I went on Thursday. So I'm basically measure measuring right as I should be. Um, but like I said, they're going to continue to monitor. So at 28 weeks, I will go and get a more in-depth growth scan, um, actually at a different office around here which luckily is at the same office <laughs> instead of having to travel but yeah so at 28 weeks we'll do a more intense growth scan um but it was like the best news to hear because i have been stressing since my 20 week appointment <sighs> it's just so nice to hear everything's going well other than that i'll show you guys the ultrasound pictures in a second but other than that um so things that have been going on like pregnancy wise not medical wise um Baby's moving a lot now, so exciting. I feel like the TV just got really loud, but maybe it's just me. My little army man. My little old child is. Yeah. So, like my pregnancy experience wise, um, heartburn has started, <laughs> lots of heartburn. Um, baby's moving all the time now, which is like the best thing ever, especially like when, I don't know when I was told all the things at 20 weeks, it's just like, it's like so relieving to feel the baby move and I love that. Um, they did say the baby's head down as of now. Obviously that will change probably. Um, but it'd be awesome if the baby would just stay head down. <laughs> With Tristan, towards the end, he was lying sideways, like transverse. Um, so that was like a fear too because like let's just get head down and do this, okay? <laughs> I don't want to have to worry about like C-sections and stuff. Um, what else? I can't sleep at night, so the exhaustion is back. Um, like, I fall asleep right away, but then I wake up a lot in the night. So I'm tired all the time, but, um, like, not, like, first trimester tired. It's, like, tired you can push through, you know? We're first trimester tired. It's, like, I need to lay down and go to bed right now. <laughs> uh, what else? The gestational diabetes have been perfect. My numbers have been perfect. My sciatic pain has been horrible. I expected that. I had it really bad with Tristan. That is back. Um, but yeah, so that's basically it for my 24 week appointment. Not too much to share other than everything's going great, which is just so happy to hear. Uh, let me get the ultrasound. I'm literally obsessed. I was looking at this picture yesterday because it was my ultrasound and then I had like an hour in between my ultrasound and my doctor's appointment. And I was literally just tearing up. I'm going to probably start again now. Just looking at this picture and knowing that everything's going well and then knowing that we have two healthy beautiful boys at home and like knowing i gave my babies the best dad <sighs> just so blessed it's literally the life like i once dreamt of genuinely i always have wanted to be a mom and like <sighs> oh, my heart <laughs> my heart swells but here is a baby oh so cute with the hand the arm side of you oh, i'm literally obsessed the little nose all oh, my babies I've been born with that little nose. So cute. And she also got this one. I feel like this one's not quite as good as a view as that one, though. This one's kind of more like that squished view, you know? And then the little feetsies. 
I'm obsessed. Obsessed. Can't wait for baby snuggles. So that there's pretty much it for the baby update this time around. Um, so happy. <laughs> I was so anxious going into the appointment yesterday, so I'm just so happy. But let me show you guys what we got from Walgreens. So Walgreens every year does, it's where I get my cards because they always have like a super sale between 50 and 60% off all their photos this time of year. I will say their quality is not as great, but it gets the job done. So <laughs> um, these are the cards we went with this year. It just says happy holidays 2023. Love the Bombard family. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but the pictures are kind of like grainy. So that's what I mean by the quality is not as great because the pictures aren't grainy like this, like typically, but super cute still. Super cute. So I got the cards. I got, it was all so cheap too. I'll show you guys. I got, I can't show you guys them. <laughs> My address is on there. I got label, like address labels just so I don't have to write that out um but yeah the address on there so you get the gist and then i got 12 different 8 by 10s um so this one is like one of my favorite christmas pictures we got this year it was really cold out tristan was not having it <laughs> towards the end but the first five minutes he was cheesing great so i think i got two of these because i usually like to just like frame a picture and give them to family members so I had two of those ones. I grabbed this one. This is one of my other favorites. This is how he was towards the end. Like, we were having, like, a really full round with him. But I think it still came out good. And then this one. Hopefully the baby. I also use these in my um, gallery wall. So I just printed a bunch. Right. And the baby at this point is when Tristan was done. So we didn't get any of Tristan. But the boy who made me mom is about to be seven, you guys. Ten days. He's going to be seven. Yeah, 10 days. <laughs> no, what's today? Eight? Yeah, 10 days. So 18th, sorry. Um, we also, my mom is a photographer, if you guys don't know. So she did indoor pictures and outdoor pictures. And we did both because Santa came to take the indoor pictures. And this is our favorite Santa. So just the boys got some with Santa when he came. So cute. He brought them little presents. That's me. <laughs> Here's another one. Um, <laughs> this one's not the best. Tristan's very serious. Bray's making a silly face, but you know, you work with what you got. Oh, and then apparently I printed two of these ones. So there's that. Those are the 8 by 10s And then lastly from there, so I've never gotten a canvas from there. I just wanted to try it out because it was pretty cheap. It was like 20 bucks with the sale. Um, and I will say I probably won't get one again from there. Like, it looks fine. I'm going to gift it to one of the family members. Um, I only got one just to test it out. So maybe his mom or his dad or something. I don't know who. But um, it looks nice. It's like a little grainy still, like I said. And another thing that I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's bothering me wicked bad is it's like crooked. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell, but like it's like it's up farther here and down farther here. And that just <laughs> turkin me. But it was only 20 bucks. Give it as a gift. <laughs> so I got all that. And then we also picked up at Walgreens when we were there. I got the slime for, um, we signed up for a part at Tristan's school where they like adopt a family and our sign up was slime. So that's, I have some more upstairs. They have like three little slime things that they're gonna wrap and put together. And then I got, okay. So I also got at Walgreens two of these chocolates. Um, hand warmers and then Tristan got a candy and all together with all the pictures and the stuff we got it was only 60 bucks so that's so cheap when I used to order my cards through like Shutterfly and spend an arm and a leg as I'm sitting here like putting the pictures away I just have to say that I love this picture so much even though it's like silly and <laughs> not the best like uniform picture I love it so much because this is my children like Brayden is such like a good listener like <laughs> people pleaser type boy which I don't love that about him I hope you know he learns to set some boundaries but he does just want to make everyone happy let's say that and then Tristan is my free willed crazy little boy and this just explains them so well so that's why I love that one I'm so curious to see how this baby's gonna be because they are like polar opposites <laughs> All right, so now we got lots to do. Um, I'm gonna start off by doing some cleaning. It fits? Good. 
Um, my house like really isn't too bad. The downstairs anyways, I basically just gotta like clean the floors and just put stuff away. Like I have the groceries and I have laundry folded on the table that I gotta put away. Um, and the floors. But upstairs. Upstairs is another story. I feel like because everyone always is downstairs, I don't focus on upstairs like hardly as much. <laughs> I just want downstairs to be clean so when people walk in, it's like, you know, picked up. But upstairs is a mess, so we gotta clean the bathroom, we have a vacuum, the stairs and the hallway. Um, and if I have time, I wanna pick up the boys' rooms really quick. But first I got another load of laundry to fold and then that's all caught up. I'm feeling pretty good, okay? I feel like I've had a productive day and it's only 11 in the morning. <laughs> Alright, so as I'm getting ready to clean my stairs here, I wanted to show you guys one of the like smartest things I do for myself, okay, it's such a convenience, is just keeping a simple little basket at the bottom of the stairs. So toys or whatever that comes down, instead of having to bring it up all the time, I can just put it in the basket and then at the end of the day or whatever, bring it up and put it away and it just makes life so much easier. <laughs> Something so simple that just makes life so much easier. But these stairs, so if you guys have been following for a while and you know, like, you know, this green stairway here, green hallway, is not something I intend on keeping forever, but for now it's what we're dealing with. So it's super old and like super like matted down and super hard to get actually looking clean. So what I found I have to do is first go in with this like brush that I actually got sent to me years ago now by Uproot. Um, I once had a code, I probably don't anymore, <laughs> um, but I use this like regularly. I genuinely love it so much. And then um, after I go through and do this, I will go through and vacuum and I uh, set up my camera here in this position thinking I was going to, you know, change up the views to show you guys me finishing this and then vacuuming. But as you can see, the camera falls and then it's just chilling there. So. Uh, <laughs> I did not get the vacuum views, okay? But I did go through after and vacuum because I find I have to do both steps in order to make it work. It's like the only way I can make it look remotely clean, genuinely, because it is just so like matted down. It just looks like grungy, but it, d it looks clean. Like you can tell it's clean, but it's just like, yeah, like grungy and matted down. Um, so something that my mom used to do when we were kids was put like our singing stuffed animals all up and down the stairs and it's something that's just stuck with me through my parenthood journey um so now I do it for the boys and like as they're younger like when Brayden was younger he used to do the same thing that Tristan now does he'll go up and down the stairs and just like press everyone and it's just so cute and just like such a simple little tacky thing that brings them some joy and happiness All right, it's almost time to go get Brayden. It's two o'clock. There's a few more things I want to do before I go get him. Um, I want to get my dips going because one of them is going to go in the crock pot. I already cleaned all the floors and everything. I didn't show you guys that, but the house is good to go at this point. Um, other than I need to mop the bathroom. So looking good. We're doing good. It's two o'clock. Everyone's not coming until five. I do have to run some errands after I get Brayden. We have to go pick up Floyd and drop off our gifts for Goldens here. We adopted two seniors. Um, I feel like it's so important to get the boys involved in giving this time of year. So we were able to choose two different seniors. One of them was a female. She wanted a jewelry box. So I grabbed this one off of Amazon. Um, and this lifts up and stuff. It's only like 20 bucks and she wanted a handbag storage so I don't I hope this works I got her like one that hangs in a closet and then these pockets all open up big so you can put handbags in the side and then that was all she requested but I also just threw in some chocolates because I feel like everyone needs some Christmas chocolates and then we also did a male um, he wanted sweatpants and shirt hat and Christmas candy so that's what we got it's a pair of sweatpants um, let's see a shirt <laughs> A uh, hat that matches the shirt and then a few different Christmas candies so those are all set to go I just need to put them in bags and um, 
They weren't marked by like name, they're marked by number. So I have to write their number on each of them. So you don't actually know like who you're donating to or anything, but me and the boys are gonna go drop those off after I pick Bray up. So let's go ahead and start this dip. So I'm gonna make a bread bowl dip, which I make all the time. It's literally just ranch, a pack of ranch mix and sour cream. And then you dip bread and like veggies and stuff in it. So good. Um, but then I'm gonna try something new this time. I'm gonna make a Rotel dip. I've never tried that before, but I thought it sounded really good. So super simple. This is all you need. Um, I have a pound of sausage, a 16 ounce block of Velveeta, and two cans of Rotel. Um, we're gonna start just by browning up some sausage and then we're gonna throw it all in the crock pot. All right guys, my sausage is nice and cooked. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add this to the bottom of my crock pot. All right, my two cans of Rotel going in. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of mix that together. Okay, but does Velveeta cheese gross anyone else out before it's cooked? It's just like, it's like Play-Doh. <laughs> so gross. So modified. But it tastes so good. So I have my block of Velveeta nice and cut up and I'm just gonna put that on the top. I'm going to cover this and put it on low. Um, there's still like three and a half hours until the party. So I'm just gonna let it cook on low and then mix it all up. You guys can't see, so this is what it looks like right now. I'll mix it all up and then over here I have some pretzels and holiday tortilla chips to dip into it. And then I threw together the bread bowl. I'm gonna put that into the fridge um, for later. Okay, now let me show you guys about the saran wrap game. This is my absolute favorite game. I love it so much. Um, I have two things of plastic wrap. Hopefully that's enough. If not, I got more in my drawer. I just bought that specifically for it. I always like to start with something bigger, like a candle. So I got this one from TJ Maxx. It's $12.99, probably the most expensive item here. Um, and then I just get some like random stuff, like this festive light up <laughs> um, UBC cable from Target. This was five $5. Um, I got a pack of Christmas socks. We do have boys and girls playing. I literally have like three friends and then my friends is significant others. Um, so I try to get things that can be used like gender neutral, but it's kind of hard. So I thought these socks could be fun for like, you know, either. These are from um, TJ Maxx, $3.99. This cup from the Target Dollar Spot. These sponges from TJ Maxx are so fun. I actually have gingerbread ones that I use currently. These are $3.99. Um, some snacks. I actually have more. <laughs> I'm picking up from Target after. I just wanted to show you guys this stuff now so I don't forget later. Um, this hot cocoa bomb I thought was super cute. Hand warmers. Um, car scent thingies. Some chapsticks. Some air fresheners, a big bag of Hershey Kisses that I'll open up and like place throughout like randomly. Um, other than that, you need dice. All right, you guys, I just got home. <laughs> it's like 4:50. Party's supposed to start at five. We've been running around. Um, I wanted to kind of show you guys this. I don't have time to hit my tripod out right now, so I started rolling it all up. Um, I'm using like these little Hershey Kisses as like just little fillers. But what I wanted to show you guys is that when you're doing this, you want to stop it, stop the roll a lot of times, and start from somewhere else. That way it doesn't go too quick. Um, and that way the person has to like refine where it starts and stops. And they also wear mitts while doing it to make it even more difficult. a lot of fun. It's probably like my favorite Christmas game. Um, and then all you do is you take a thing of dice and the person next to you tries to roll doubles and you get to unroll it until the person rolls doubles. And then you keep switching. And like I said, you wear mitts while doing it.
We dropped off the, um, the gifts for the Goldens, though, and the boys are so cute with that. They carried them in and <laughs> put them all out. All right, here's what that sausage dip looks like, or the hotel dip. It looks so yummy. I'm excited to eat this. Living with kids is cleaning the house all day and then still having this when people are on their way over. <laughs> Tristan, you got your trucks? Yeah? Right when you walk in the door. <laughs> okay, so I definitely filmed nothing of the party. <laughs> I bet too, and then it just always gets, you know, so busy, but um, there was lots of dips, lots of food. Um, it was fun, the game was fun. Um, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me. I have decided that my Christmas decor videos just aren't happening this year. I filmed them all plenty early enough. I just never had time to like sit down and edit with them and now it's just too late. So I'm gonna be bringing you guys along in the next couple of weeks um, with just different Christmas things like cookie baking, um, probably wrapping, things like that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.